This is how you make a vertical video sequence in Premiere Pro. Whether you filmed your footage in portrait orientation like this, as a regular landscape shot like this one, or maybe you thought you filmed a vertical clip, but when you imported it into Premiere, it came in rotated 90 degrees or sideways like this one. All right, so let's start off with the easiest one where I'm gonna assume that you filmed your footage in portrait orientation like this already. That means that all we have to do is go to our main clip. So right now I have this clip is iPhone 12 mini right here. All you have to do is right click on it and then go new sequence from clip. That's gonna make your sequence over here match the sequence settings of your original clip, which is already vertical, so you're already good to go. Just so you know, if you go up to sequence and down to sequence settings, this is where you can see the resolution and frame rate of your sequence. Some people will say to always use 24 frames per second here, like 24 frames per second. But I think if you filmed in 30 frames per second, you should edit in 30 frames per second. So that's why I prefer this method because it guarantees your time base of your sequence matches the frame rate of your actual footage. Down here is your resolution. So we can tell this is a 1080 sequence and it's vertical right here. And you can see that by nine by 16. A regular horizontal sequence will be 16 by nine. This right here, you can change these if you want. So typically it's either 1080 by 1920 for 1080 footage, or you can change this to 2160 by 3840 if you want it to be 4K. Oh, and you also might wanna deal with your working color space as well. Right now it's rec 2100 HLG, which was the default from my iPhone footage. And you can see that it's a very washed out, like weird looking image. So if I switch this to rec 709, and then click OK, you can see that it'll switch over and that'll help for when you bring in other clips into the timeline as well. Once you've set the things that you want here, then you can just go down and click OK. I'm gonna cancel for now because I don't wanna change it to 4K. However, on a side note, I would not use this Premiere Pro layout to edit vertical videos. Right now I'm in effects. You might be in learning or essentials or editing or something. You wanna use the vertical one up here. If you don't see these, then just click on this little thing up here, workspaces, and you'll see the list down here. Select vertical, the whole thing will flip around and change. And this just means now that you'll have a bigger area here, bigger real estate on your screen to actually see the video as you edit. And then all your other panels, like your clips, your timeline, and your effect controls will be over to the left over here. Okay, but what if you didn't film in portrait orientation, so your video is already vertical? Maybe you filmed it like this, so Canon R6 horizontal. Maybe you filmed it in landscape orientation and you're only gonna wanna use part of the image, so you're gonna have to crop in to make it vertical. Or maybe you filmed it like this, you thought you were filming it vertical, but when you imported it, it actually comes in sideways like this, like it's rotated 90 degrees. I'm gonna show you how to fix both of those. So first of all, if you already have a sequence that is vertical, and you just wanna add those clips into that one, all you have to do is drag them in. So I'm gonna drag both these in, Canon R6 horizontal, I'm gonna bring that one in, and then I'm gonna bring in the side one as well. And now if I slide this along, you can see that the first clip is obviously perfectly fine within my sequence here, but if I keep going, you'll see the Canon R6 horizontal clip is now cropped, the left and the right have now been cropped off and it fits within that same vertical sequence. That's because this is a 4K clip, so it was a really big clip, and it fits nicely in this 1080 vertical frame. But, for example, if I knock this down, if it was a 1080 clip, it might look like this, and then you'd have to rescale it. Well, actually, I can tell in this 4K one that part of the top and part of the bottom was cut off already, so I'm gonna have to rescale this one anyway. Okay, so how do I do that? Well, you click on your clip within the sequence, and you go up to Effect Controls. If you don't see effect controls, find these two little arrows within this and go to effect controls right there or click away and then click back onto your clip. And then we're really gonna mess with position and scale here. So if you click on any of these blue numbers and slide to the left, it's gonna adjust it. And if you slide to the right, it's gonna adjust it the opposite. So for scale, if I click and I slide to the left, that's how you shrink it and to the left and then to the right, it's gonna be expanding it. So I'm just gonna go right till I see the black and then I'm gonna bring it back up and plunk it in right there. And then you can also adjust position. So let's say it was down like this, we can use position. So this one is to go left and right. So if I click and slide left, it'll go left and right will go right. So I'm just gonna place it there. 
and then this one's to go up and down. So click and hold, slide left will go up, and slide right will go down. So I'm going to place that one up like that. Actually, I'm going to use this arrow to just reset that, and I'm going to use this one to reset that, and I'm just going to scale this back like I meant to do before. So somewhere around there. Okay, now if I go to this one, we have a different problem. It's still scaled up like that, but now it's still angled to the side. It was rotated 90 degrees. So in this one to fix it, I'm gonna to go to rotation here and I'm gonna go negative 90 and hit enter. But as you can see, this one is way scaled up. So now I have to go back to scale, slide to the left and shrink it down to the size that I want. So I'm gonna go somewhere around there and I'm gonna use the position one right here to slide it up a little bit and fit it in so it kind of matches the other two. So now if we look at all three, this one fits in, this one fits in, and this one fits in. Okay, but what if you're somebody who doesn't have this vertical clip? You only film with your DSLR or mirrorless camera. You don't have a vertical clip to use as a sequence. Well, and I'm gonna test it out. So I'm gonna delete this one, gone, and I'm gonna delete this whole sequence. Now we're back to scratch and all we have is either a horizontal clip like this or a flipped, rotated, horizontal clip like this. Well, in both cases, we do it the same way. We right click and just go new sequence from clip. You're gonna see that it's a horizontal sequence. So we're gonna deal with that in a second. And I'm gonna do the same thing to this one here, right, right here. So the one that was rotated 90, I'm just gonna right click on it and go new sequence from clip. So either way, you're gonna start with a sequence that looks like this. Now, all we have to do is go up to our sequence settings right at the top here, sequence, go to sequence settings, and we're gonna flip these two numbers right here. So 3840, 2160. So I'm gonna go here and go 2160, and this one's gonna be 3840. So now it's just flip those two around, and then I can go down here to the bottom and click OK. This little message is gonna come up, just click OK on that. And you're gonna see that now we have a vertical sequence and we can do the same thing that we just did to fix this one right here. So go into rotation and go negative 90. And now that one is fixed. If I go back to Canon R6 horizontal, we can do the same thing. So we can go up to sequence, sequence settings, flip these two numbers, 2160, 38, 40, drag this up, click OK click OK, and now this one, the only issue is that because this is still a 4K vertical sequence, this clip, remember it fit nicely in the 1080 vertical sequence, but now because this one's 4K, we have two choices. We can scale it up, so go back to our scale here and scale this up so it fits within the 4K sequence like that, or if we think, oh, that we've stretched that out, we don't need a 4K sequence, I'm just gonna go Command or Control Z to go back. We can go up to our sequence settings, go into sequence settings again here, and instead of keeping this as a 4K one, we can make this a 1080 sequence. So we can make this 1080 on this side, and this one is 1920. Then just do the same thing. Click OK, click OK. That'll be the same size as we had for the iPhone sequence size. And now we can go in and scale it just like we did before, scale it back a little bit and match it into the frame. If you wanna learn how to edit or need to know how to export vertical videos, make sure to watch the videos linked on the screen right now.